We all know what Australia looks like. Maps tell us. They also tell us that there is a desert here, a forest here and a mountain here. But for the Great Barrier Reef, we only have an outline of the reef. So we need more information. Hi, I'm Chris and I'm part of a team habitat mapping the Great Barrier Reef. Habitat mapping is a process where plant life, environmental conditions and animal life is documented so that in any region you know what ecological factors to expect. For the Great Barrier Reef, that means taking the plunge and documenting the coral, seagrass and marine fauna. We used underwater cameras and waterproof slates to capture our findings. But mapping just one reef could take weeks or months if you just do it in the water. And the Great Barrier Reef has 2,900 reefs. By that math, it would take over 400 years to map the whole reef. So we worked out a way to get around that. We use the information we know from the reefs we have studied in the water to look for clues and make predictions about reefs we haven't. For the reef, we're looking for clues in satellite images. Through these images we can work out the topography of the reef. In other words, what parts are deep and what parts are shallow. And in areas two meters deep or shallower, we can analyze the pixels and make a strong translation of what there is. And we also use drones to have another perspective of the reef. But most incredible of all is the contribution from citizen scientists. These are ordinary people who take it upon themselves to join the cause by photographing the reef. We are gradually piecing together a clear picture of the Great Barrier Reef, which is essential for conservation, so we can tell how the reef is changing, what we are losing and how quickly it's happening so that our largest natural wonder remains for generations to come.